Hi, we're here with Andy Tim, and Andy is with Calypso, which is a strategic partner with the CAD company PTC. And what and what Calypso specializes in is um, actually making a connection between CAD data and what you might call the Internet of Things. Andy, tell us a little bit about this um, neato mountain bike we have in front of you. And what what we did, what you guys did with this? Sure. So this bike represents a collaborative effort uh, between Santa Cruz Mountain Bikes, uh, PTC, and their their Internet of Things platform called ThingWorks, uh, the NI Hardware, which is a device called the MyRio, and and Calypso is kind of the uh, you know the business consulting skill to to put this together and figure out what it might apply in the in the in the real world. Um, so we've got our, our seven sensors around the bike that are measuring wheel rotation, RPMs, the, the pedals, um, the displacement of the shock, the steering angle, and that data is being fed into the MyRio and then through the ThingWorks platform, um, and, and we've got three different um, renderings of that data. One is a pretty simple web page, it just shows the numbers. One is what we call a digital twin, which is the, the marriage of the physical object with the digital CAD model that generated it. So in the CAD model, when we move the handlebars, you'll see the bike model move in, in a similar pattern. Um, and finally, there's a, a really cool demo with an augmented reality application on an iPad. So when we look through the iPad at the bike, the sensor data will, will be hovering in the place that, it, you know, that it's talking about. Just to be clear, this, uh, this is a Santa Cruz bike, but Santa Cruz isn't going to make bikes with sensors on it. No, this this truly is is uh, is a you know a sexy demo that that gets people's attention. So, you know, in the future maybe there'll be bikes with sensors, but this isn't uh, that's that wasn't the goal. The goal was for people to say, oh, okay, I kind of get what IoT is all about. People have bikes in their garages. Seeing those those numbers pop up is kind of this aha moment, and it allows the audience to kind of make their own connection between our example and whatever makes sense in their own context context. Now you started with a PTC CAD model of this bike. Um, how do you make the connection between the physical and the digital? Sure, so, so I didn't write that part, but basically the sensor data is coming into ThingWorks. Uh, ThingWorks has an integration with, with Creo, so when we open, open the model in Creo, it's listening to this force data that's being sent in real time from the bike and knows how to adjust the, the model accordingly. Okay. And um, what the, what's interesting about this is that when you display it on a, a tablet in a special way, it, you get quite an interesting display. Can you talk us, to us about that? Sure, so, so the augmented reality um, application is, is taking uh, an image of the bike, in this case it's, a, you know, it's the CAD model, and being fed that real-time information from the sensors. So as we spin a wheel, you'll be able to see the, you know, using basically the camera from the iPad. So you'll be able to see the bike through the, the viewfinder, and then we're overlaying sensor data on top of that. So you'll be able to see the, the, the RPMs of the front wheel, the rear wheel, um, and even some, some minor analytics that, that are being done. For instance, you know, another kind of silly demo, but if the rear wheel is spinning at a different rate than the front wheel, you'll get a little warning that says, hey, you may be in a slide or in a slip condition. So again, it's you know the, the purpose is to is to get people thinking. It's it's uh, it's you know this uh, we took this around the you know around the block and things were falling off. So it's not <laughs> going to be it's not battle tested. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, what do you think the next step is in this direction? Yeah, I mean, again, with this being uh, an example of what's possible, the next thing that I would like to do is is replace the iPad with with you know like uh, the Google Glass or some other tor sort of, of of you know augmented reality glasses. Um, past that, we've thought about doing kind of a marketing campaign where, where someone rides the bike for a period of, of time with the goal of you know, getting in shape or losing weight or, or in, in, you know, increasing time over some course. Um, one of the other PTC products called Cold Light is a machine learning and, and analytics platform. So if we're feeding that data in and maybe there's an integration with Fitbit and, and you're you know, entering your caloric intake and you're your weight every day and, and everything you ate and, and this bike is, is telling uh, the system how many miles you've ridden and your heart rate and how fast you're going and you know the system could then start to learn to say okay you know based on all this information you fed me we think today you should ride seven miles and do it at this pace um, and further you know we could be monitoring that heart heart rate and try to keep it within a threshold so maybe the bike is is automatically shifting gears you know making some change you know automatically to to balance out that equation gotcha. so yeah, you know, again it's it's a 
you, you can relate this into the real world pretty easily. So, you know, looking through this mountain bike through a viewfinder on an iPad is, is kind of silly, but if you replace this with a piece of very expensive hardware in the field, you know, a, a Caterpillar bulldozer or something, and you look through that and you could say, this is the part that's broken, or here's, you know, here's the, the life left of every part. So you have this continued conversation with your products in the field, you can start to do some pretty smart predictive maintenance. Um, so the use cases are, are off the charts, but this this is kind of that first spark of an idea. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of fun, Andy. So. It is fun. I love doing this stuff. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you.